Hello everyone, welcome back. You're watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use a live Excel dashboard as a custom tooltip on mouse hover. So let's move to demo file and see how it works. And then we can uh, we will create this uh, custom tooltip from scratch. So this is the uh, performance dashboard, and here we are going to utilize uh, the custom tooltip. You can see that there are several uh, charts and visualization over here and all the visualizations are dynamic so uh, i have placed all these visualizations to create a performance dashboard view so this is uh, you can see that this is the, the journal uh, sales percentage and these are the text values like so suppose you just need to uh, show a charts like uh, here uh, let me show you suppose you just want to show uh, the trend of north south east and west how uh, you know this particular zone are performing um, month on month it means you just need to uh, place a different chart over here and in that case it will occupy some space so the better way to display the charts is on mouse over and that is called uh, the custom tooltip and this particular feature are uh, is available in power bi and tableau so you can easily access this feature in power bi but in excel there is no feature so uh, we can create with the help of uh, you know visual basic application so let me uh, hover my mouse on the north so once i will hover this mouse you can see that uh, this is uh, showing the data for north basically the trend line for north once i will move to south it will start showing the data for south and then uh, you can see that uh, this is for east and, and this is for west and once i i will move my mouse from this particular table to uh, like outside the this, this table so let me show you okay so once i will over, uh, move out from this table then it will uh, not visible okay so this is very easy for users so that user can hover it, uh, its mouse on a particular chart or table and user can see how uh, you know, uh, the trend is performing and the uh, sales performance is trending month and month even you can utilize different charts or different you know visualization uh, for that but here we are utilizing this uh, inbuilt excel chart so let me show you this is the excel charts and this is the live chart basically okay so this is the chart so let's close this file and open the practice file so uh, this is the practice file you can see that okay and this is the same table which we utilized uh, in our demo file and all these uh, charts are same as and these are the underlying data like row 1 3 2 like that and we have you know created uh, all these charts the charts available in this particular dashboard uh, basis on the data available in one raw data 1 2 3 and 4 okay so our main focus is like we just need to create a chart a line chart or maybe column chart for this particular table like north south east and west so our data are available in raw data 3 which i have already highlighted so that we can easily identify okay so let's move to the raw data sheet and here you can see that uh, these are the month and month uh, no performance trend and I have also created one more table uh, this is the dynamic table here so suppose you uh, like here the west value is available like the zone is west and I have applied the VLOOKUP so that uh, it's looking up the value from this particular table and showing here so once I will change the value uh, to north then it will start showing the value for north then like in the same way for south and east okay so uh, let's create this chart a uh, excel chart so let's select this data go to insert tab and under chart section just uh, select any of the chart so for like to learn this let's select the column chart so let me select this column chart over here and uh, let's make it smaller little bit smaller okay and 
just right click on that add a trend line uh, sorry uh, data labels and we can make it a different color like this one okay so our chart is ready let's place this value so what we need to do we just need to create a you know a live emails so early uh, it should we can we should place over here so that it can be you know it can fit in a cell like from here you can see that let's okay so let's uh, uh, let's merge this now we can place uh, move this to place in middle of this merge cell okay so it's done uh, let's copy this press ctrl c and move to the dashboard and let's move to the right side of this dashboard and press ctrl uh, so we just need to place a uh, paste as a live uh, image so just go to the paste here and link picture okay just give the name as uh, tool tip so maybe custom tool tip custom tool tip so we just change this name to custom tool tip let me go there here so as of now it's showing the data for nodes so let me uh, go to the raw data 3 and let's change the value to its uh, south so now you can see that uh, it is started like it has started showing the south and as this particular link uh, is linked with the image which is available in this cell the merge cell okay and that's why it's uh, showing the data for south it's so dynamic picture right so let's uh, start programming so before doing anything so uh, before going to visual basic application and writing the code we just need to uh, create some data uh, label over here so that we can over our mouse and you know trigger the mouse over event or mouse move events right so let's move to developer tab and uh, here insert and in from active x controls we need this one or uh, the data labels the label basically sorry uh, it's a label active x control and just uh, draw a label over north okay and then just copy this press ctrl c and ctrl v and this let's overlap it on south then again ctrl v and then replicate uh, this is for you know east and then west okay so let's select this all four levels go to properties in development uh, developer tab and here we just uh, need to give the name so let's make it transparent so the back color should be transparent so just select this now uh, we just need to remove the labels so let it be a label here uh, just go to format and just align this so let's align vertically okay and now just select one by one like this is for north so lb maybe you can directly put north here and then south and this is for east and again this is for west okay now we need to re uh, remove the caption so select and remove the caption because we do not want to show the caption okay so 
now as the background color is transparent and uh, we have removed the caption so no one can see uh, whether we have placed any object on top of the uh, all these cells right and we need one more uh, you know labels to so just go to developer and here insert and then select this label okay and just overlap the entire table including some surrounding space okay and this the name would be uh, overall and the back color so again the back style should be transparent and let's remove the label so the caption basically just close these properties go to format and we need to send it back so just click on send to back so uh, so we will utilize this uh, the overall uh, label to hide all those uh, the sales uh, the charts basically okay so whenever user will over uh, mouse on north south east and west it will show the chart whenever user will move the mouse outside the north south east and west then it will all be automatically uh, like you know, your mouse will move to the overall uh, overall level and in that way it will trigger the mouse move uh, event and it will hide the chart so this is a simple logic and let's go to uh, raw data 3 first and here we need to change the value okay so we need to change the a10 for raw data 3 so let's dashboard and once a uh, user will hover its mouse on north then what it will do it will change the the value it will become north and then once it will become north then this chart will get changed and then the chart which we have already kept over here it will change accordingly okay so let's double click on not and we need we do not need uh, under like click event we need mouse move so just select this mouse move event just delete the previous sub procedure and sheets raw data 3 dot range a10 dot value is equal to north okay okay so uh, we need to set the top and left uh, of this particular image according to the cell value as like uh, d5 d6 here d5 and d6 d7 and d8 okay so let's uh, move to visual basic here and let's start writing the code so shields and we need to refer the the custom tooltip here so custom tooltip is available in dashboard dashboard and dot shapes so custom tooltip okay and dot left and the left should be uh, sheets dashboard dot range and the range is d5 dot left okay let's copy this same line of code and we need to replicate this for top so let's change this left to top and again this uh, left to top and just copy this uh, this one so sheets dashboard and shapes custom tooltip and we need to visible that should be true okay so let's uh, so this is for north let's copy this entire sub procedure and replicate this for south so here it should be south and south and north is that should be on d6 again that should be d6 
so this is for north this is for south let's wrap, copy this and paste it for east and that should be again and it should be seven this should be seven okay just select this copy this and now we need to replicate this for west W E S T West. Okay. West and that should be eight. The reference again. This should be eight. So this is done for uh, done to uh, show the chart. And now we need to hide the chart whenever a user will you know move mouse from east west you know north south. So just. Here, just select this and select the overall and in overall we just need to select uh, the mouse move and just delete this and just copy this line of code visible true and that should be visible false okay so now it's done let's move to Excel window and come out from designing mode okay let's over our mouse on so here you can see that north so it's showing north south east and west okay and once uh, we will move from north south east and west like outside of this table so we will over our mouse or we will move our mouse to overall level and now it's not showing okay so this is all about how to create a custom or uh, pull tip and utilize a live chart to show that chart on a mouse over hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching please like share subscribe and comment have a great day bye bye